Hi guys, welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're gonna talk about Windows 11 25H2 yet again. I'm gonna give you some updates, what is new related to Windows 11 25H2, and what other discoveries have been made related to this update that is expected to be released somewhere at the end of this year. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the Tech Based channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. For those of you who watch this channel, I think you know that I've made a previous video in which I talked about Windows 11 25H2. H2. Well, Windows 11 25H2 was not really confirmed back then by Microsoft. And even with the new release of the new builds and the new series for the dev channel, which I'm just going to show you in a bit, I'm going to go into the settings app and system. And then in the about section, I think a lot of you know that we had a short window for about a month in which the dev and the beta channels received the same builds. But after that period was changed, Microsoft moved up to 26200 builds. Of course, this is the latest build for the dev channel, but still no mention of 25H2 and also as you can see the version is still set to 24H2. We've talked about a few rumors about Windows 11 25H2 being an enablement package which basically means that it won't be a huge version change and a platform change but those rumors are most likely true because there have been more discoveries made by Panther on Twitter and actually the version 25H2 is mentioned in the app Razors S.dll file inside Windows 11 and as you can see here we have the code GE 25H2. GE comes from Germanium, which is basically the platform that Windows 11 24H2 is based on, and this most likely means that 25H2 will be based on the same platform, and we won't have a new platform change. This also means that most likely Windows 11 25H2 will be an enablement package. This will mean that new features that will be related to this new version will be slowly released in certain updates, but Microsoft will then on change the version without doing a huge update. Only the version will change after those features will be enabled so this will make the transition to Windows 11 25H2 way easier. As I've said in the previous video I think Microsoft is doing this because they want to make the transition for Windows 10 users to Windows 11 easier because as you know Windows 10 will end its support this year so I think a lot of users will try to upgrade to Windows 11 and with it not being a new platform change and most likely no big issues and bugs with it the transition will be way easier even for users that already to use Windows 11 24H2 and for users that want to come from Windows 10 to Windows 11 25H2. So as a short recap, we have two new things. Windows 11 25H2 is now confirmed by Microsoft in some DLL files in the latest builds as discovered by Panther on Twitter. Also, most likely the platform will be the same. Germanium platform will also be the base of Windows 11 25H2, which means that Windows 11 25H2 will most likely be an enablement package. A way easier update, a faster update, which won't bring any huge issues or anything like that to the Windows 11 operating system. So of course, for more information, you can check out the article below or Panther on Twitter if you want to learn more about this and find out more about other discoveries that will be made about Windows 11 25H2. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Jumanu from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.